So I get the carburetors all installed. I got the gas tank installed. I got the fuel filter installed. And I'm going to connect the battery so that I can start the motorcycle. I mean, you know, something was a little odd. Uh, it wasn't completely obvious to me what was uh, negative and positive battery cables. Something as simple as that I couldn't figure out. But then after a little bit of time just looking at the bike, I realized that there was not a starter uh, relay uh, anywhere on the bike. Usually this cable that goes to the starter will connect to the relay, the starter relay, and then from the relay, there's got a connection to go to the battery and usually otherwise do other things. So my starter relay should be down here at the bottom and plugs in there and it's got the connections for the battery. So it's missing that. Um, maybe there's ways to bypass it, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna do some research and get myself a new starter relay so that I can see if the bike turns on. So. First time I'm gonna turn the key. I mean, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, it'll start right up. But we'll see anything, anything could go wrong. I could have done something wrong. Something could be really wrong with the bike. Who knows? Here it goes. Seem to be getting any any kind of power. At this point, I'm not getting any kind of power on the blinkers, no gauges, no headlights, no tail lights, no brake lights. So I'm going to try to start the bike using the old screwdriver in the solenoid trick where I make contact with the two terminals on the solenoid. Watching this video over again it took me an insane amount of time to find out that the main power line that supplies power to everything was not connected it's that red dangling wire right there uh, it took me forever to figure that out so here I'm gonna just strip it strip that wire and connect it to the battery gonna put a fuse in line gonna re replace the fuse in line and that's gonna end up giving me power to the bike
put a thumbs up because I was able to get power to the bike. So now you're going to see all the lights are working. But there was no power to the button. So the bike wouldn't crank over. So now it's time to look for more busted fuses or unplugged wires. I was able to find several fuses that were broken or popped so I went ahead and replaced them but here is what happens when we try to start it that's what they call the box of rocks so it's a common problem with these Yamahas um, some kind of problem with the starter where the gears do not engage so uh, one solution is to remove a, a starter spring that's inside the, the motor starter components so I'm going to do that and hopefully that fixes the starter so keep an eye out for that other video that next video thanks for watching <laughs>